What is up guys and welcome back to another video today It's been a while since I've done a FIFA career mode experiment But today we'll be jumping back into it to a what would happen video If they would kept their greatest players Now Ajax is a team on the up with a golden generation And they've got a chance of winning the Champions League But they're maybe not favourites Maybe you put Barca or Liverpool ahead But what if they had all their old players they have brought through some legends in the current game from their academy and what would happen if they brought them all back could they win the champions league now we're going to jump right into it if you haven't really joined me as so do go subscribe let's even hit by when this video is coming out let's even smash 205 subs by the time uh of the end of the day after this video has been uploaded but here is the side i'm going to kick this off with we've got suarez up front, begun his days at Ajax, well, forcing a move through, I think, to Liverpool. I've stuck Donny van der Beek in at the camps box, so he's got a very good potential. Hakim Ziyech has been brilliant for them this year. Then, one of our, another of our old Ajax players, Christian Eriksen, the first of four Spurs men in the side. A very good camp, who are the players, a left camp. Then Danny Blind, because they really don't have a lot of centre mids. Frankie de Jong obviously is going to go up hugely in potential, but Danny Blind's going to start off as my other centre mid, although I may change that and the formation around to suit a little bit more. Then a left back to what I have stuck with Tagli Afiko because I'm going to put Philippe Louis, who was out a long time ago, like 2005-2006 season, uh, at the right back spot because there isn't a huge amount of selection over there. Then the centre backs, we are filled with options. I've gone for the Ligt and Alderweireld as the pair that I want. Then Ingo, we have got Onana. Just took him over Yes for Silas because obviously his potential will go up very rapidly. Then on the bench, we've got Milik, who's a solid backup striker. Neres, obviously with high potential. Kloivert, Justin Kloivert, the son of um his name's gone back. Patrick Kloivert. It's Patrick Kloivert? Maybe not here. Yeah. The son of the other Kloivert. Yeah, David Klassen, because we don't have a lot of good centre bids. Yes for Silison, the backup basketball. Then two more Spurs centre backs in Sanchez and Vertongen. Eber on the bench. Casper Dolberg with another good potential striker. Bertrand Traore is another good backup winger to, for Neres and Ziyech. Alex Tete, or I think it's Alex Tete, was the right back and could have gone for. Then we've also got Tadic, Huntelaar, Schoen and Veltman. And then really after that, we're just looking at the outsides of what was the old Ajax squad. So if you didn't just here, do go drop me a sub. We're going to jump right into it, get to the end of the group stages. I might see if we can do, do this until the, they do win the Champions League. But we're kicking it off. Our group is Mabika, AK Athens and, ben F and Bayern Munich. Let's get to the end of the groups. Okay, and six months down the line, we're sitting top of the league and actually unbeaten at this stage. 43 points, although PSV are actually stuck with us, sitting only three down on 40 points in the current stands. Meanwhile, Orange Becker, we are into the quarterfinals where we're going to face Helen Veen. We actually had to go through both round one and round two. And then in the Champions League, as it currently stands, we are through to the next round. We managed to finish second in our group. We got beat by Bayern twice, then the current Europa League and AK Athens out the competition completely. We're going to be facing Juventus in the next round. Not a nice fixture, but let's jump into it. Full team out for the first leg. Let's see what we can do. If we can get through this, we can get through anything to us. So they've still got Ronaldo. Yeah, that is a damn good team. Eschstein, the only change in the side. Van der Beek gets a yellow bit. Amazing. I think we need to win this first leg. And Hale Fico does give us the lead. 1-0 to Ajax. Maybe I might do a couple of seasons see if they can do it. But if we can win it first, yeah, that's insane. Weird substitution for Tong comes on for Aldevira. Douglas Costa Pjanic makes it one worse and away goal for those all. Can we make it 2-1? That'd be handy. I think it's going to end 1-1, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 1-1 draw in the first leg. It's going to be tough to get through with the away game. Second leg, a strong performance is needed. Otherwise, we'll be jumping right into season two. Let's see. Ronaldo misses a penalty in the first minute of the game. Okay. Maybe the football gods are on our side. Tagli Fico takes a yellow. We need, the thing is, if we score, it's kind of all evened up. If we can get two, then we're through. And Suarez gives us, I was thinking that's them, but no, Suarez gives us the lead. If they score now, they have to score to stay in it. And if we can back a second, we might be able to head through here. 15 minutes to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we are through to the quarters. Juventus defeated. Maybe it's our side. Wait, they shocked Juve in, the, in real life as well. That's pretty poetic. Although, as you know, PSV haven't got the league in the league. It looks like we may have lost the game. We have. We have lost the match this season. That's so maybe we'll win the Champions League, but not the Eredivisie. 
Very poetic, but in the quarters, we have drawn Real Madrid. So we're all the way around, but very ironic. Sadly, the league is out, it's the away leg. So this is gonna be very, very tough. Thankfully, we've got Vertonghen as our backup and Davinson Sanchez as our backup for our backup. So maybe we can still have that say good, good team. No changes. Oh, a sense good lead. This is the away leg, so we can stay in the in the game. Then I think we've got a chance to maybe win this Champions League in the first game. Liverpool beating Roma last year's semi-final. And classing on. Okay, Suarez makes it 1-1. He hates Real Madrid, I can guarantee it. But 1-1, I'll take that going into the home leg. Come on, keep it at 1-1. A away goal, a draw. That's a good result. I'll take that 1-1 head into the second leg. Let's do it and can we get to the semis? Second leg then. Same team out. Come on. No way can we do the ironic and knock these two teams out. Modric, Cruz, oh, two goals just flew in, which actually isn't great for us, because they now have the away goals possibility. Ericsson and Bale bagging the goals. It's 1-1 as it currently stands. Extra time with the Varane's been sent off. That's a big one. And Bale makes it 2-1 though. We need two. We need two. And Van der Beek makes two. We've got 20 minutes. We have to score. Have to score. Have to score. Come on. Why are you bringing fucking Tete on? That's Chris Allen. Come on, come on, come on. No! Knocked out at the quarterfinals on away goals. Get to the end. We'll send to the end of the season now. And it looks like we're not favourites for the league at this stage. We'll get to the end of the season. We'll jump into a second year, see if we can do it. So at the end of the first season, we didn't win the league. Despite only losing three matches, PSV have beaten us to the title by three points. I did not see that coming. We did, however, win the RNG back, which is a bit of rejection. And the Champions League winners were Liverpool, who did beat Real Madrid, revenge, I suppose, on penalties in the final. In terms of team stats, I don't know what we're looking at. Team, for a lot of players, have improved. Felipe Luiz's rating has gone down like a stone, so we'll probably swap him out for next season. We'll take a look. Luis Suarez, 27 in 49 games. Ericsson had a very good season. Klassen, surprisingly, got a bad pair of game time. ZX, very, very good. Van der Beek, there you can see Tadic with a fair bit of game. Hopefully, I think as a whole next season, if attributes have gone up, which they looks like they have for the majority, second season syndrome, we can win this Champions League. It's a new season, I expect to get through this group. Arsenal, Leibkusen and Basel. Maybe we can even top this. I think we've got the quality, but skip to the end of the, or the, end of the group stage, just see where we're sitting. Okay, halfway through the season, we're sitting top of the league. Hopefully, we won't throw it like last time. But PSV, again, sticking level with us. In the RNG Becker, we actually got knocked out in the second round to the test. I'm a little bit disappointed. But the main focus, the Champions League. We are through to the next round. We're facing Liverpool in the last 16. But we didn't top the group, which I find a little bit irritating. I thought we would. But Arsenal have beat us to it with five wins and 15 points. We only still on 11. We're still safe to cut, safe because we're through. But let's get to this last 16. See if we can finally secure our place into the Champions League knockouts. Knockouts? What am I like? What's wrong? <laughs> Suarez is currently the top scorer. So let's see what we can do. Is it the salad mane Firmino combination? Still there. Yes, it is. I don't think only Jimenez and Malo the only time, but Firmino has given them an early lead. The Licht, the captain, makes it 1 1. But then away goal is not what we want to see. We want to get a win here, ideally at home. Half time, and it's still one apiece. If they score a second, we're in a spot of bother. But substitutions going on. No goals, though. Suarez, yes, thank God. I think in Liverpool, Suarez. No, Suarez is one of ours. 2 1. Oh, take that, 2-1 win. Let's get to the second leg and try and get through to the quarters on the second occasion running. Let's get it sorted, second leg. Come on, what are you gonna do? Just don't concede a goal and you're through. Think about that. I mean, if we can get an away goal, that's what we really need. One away goal when we're sitting fairly comfortably because they'd have to score three. But Firmino again makes it 1-0 Liverpool. They're currently going through. As it currently stands in the way goal, surely we can get knocked out of that for a second time in the row. Why would you bring Klassen on for Ericsson? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Okay, we need to score. And that will only take too much time. Come on. It's not. Out to Liverpool in this last 16. Maybe we'll have one more attempt at this. I want to try and win the Champions League with Ajax, but some players are getting even better. Some are starting to dip off because Suarez is down to an 88. But third season, let's go. Third season, we may make this the last one. We've got Milan, Spartak, Moscow, and the Besiktas. We should definitely be getting through this group. We made a couple of switches to the starting lineup. Suarez stays up top. 
Front four series is the same as with Klassen comes into the side, Davinson Sanchez into the side, and Tete is now a permanent fixture. But I hope Sanchez is actually injured for the moment, but we get to the end of group stages, we should be comfortably through. I think we can agree the league is going to be hard this season. 16 wins out of 17. 13 points clear off the season, but are we through the groups? The question, yes, we are. We're facing last time seasons. Awesome, but again, we don't top it, which worries me again. Hopefully this time a lot of big teams actually, no one's small at all, but Arsenal the next round, let's get to it. This should hopefully be a walk in the park, Arsenal last 16, theoretically what is it, 6 games to get through and then win the Champions League final, just come on, smash out, they've got, they've got Danny fucking Welbeck and team, we can't win this, Van Der Beek gives us the first goal, come on, come on, oh yeah Zona makes it 1-1 though, okay, hello, let's just be careful, uh, to, oh shit, 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 shit. I may do one final season. We've got a class that makes it 2-2. Two, two. That's at least a little bit. But come on, make it 3-2. Make it 3-2. Make it 3-2. Make it 3-2. It's going to be a tough second leg, but let's get to it. This is a must-win game now. I didn't think you would turn to this, but it's a must-win game. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Smash it out of the park. They've got Welbeck. We can't lose to Danny fucking Welbeck. If we go out here, I'm doing one more team. Randerbeek! Come on, Suarez! Okay, Rose, we've got two away goals. We're sitting good now. We're sitting good. I think we should have it from here. We should have it from here. Neres is onto the pitch. Going very aggressive, actually. Bloody hell. But... Suarez makes it through. That's going to be it. That'll be it. Three away goals. Why can we not smash it at home? I don't know. But we're through to the quarters. This is the joint best we've done. And we're into the quarters now. Getting tough, there's some weaker teams in there actually. I said it was strong, actually maybe not. There's no Bayern Munich, who else is missing? I see there's a couple of teams missing, no Juventus. So we've got Dortmund, I think we've got a chance, but come on team. Everyone's like very good other than maybe Klassen. So it should be winnable, come on. Is that Bruno Fernandes, Guerrero, Sanchez? They've got some very good players. Aik and Kanji. that's actually a very good Dortmund team. Uh, yes, come on. Come on! We got we lost on the way goals the last time we're in the quarters. This time should we can Phillips on it. Torres makes it too. God, maybe all we need is an away goal next time. Just don't concede. And I think we're looking good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ten minutes. Just get Take the words out of my mouth. It's 2-1. Second leg. Come on, let's just keep it together. Just don't throw it now. Quarter finals, we're winning. One away goal and we should be good. If they win 1-0 though, we're going home. So please, come on, we've got to beat we can beat this Dortmund side. Don't concede, that's the key. We've got Sanchez, De Ligt, Tete, Tagliafico. That's such a good back one, just don't concede. So we need to, just don't concede. We've got Milik on the bench, we've got Dolberg on the bench, Nero. Ah, that's a defensive injury. Thank God we've got all of here and Vertonghen. Vertonghen's actually dropped off from rating mad fast, but still. Okay, 70 minutes down, don't concede. I swear, Milik! No, 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 no. no. Oh, my God. I don't think it's doable. Ah. Oh. I think we're gonna end the video there. We have I may try one more time, but I think this is where we'll end the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. We've got the league comfortably sewn up already, but we'll just sim to the end of the season to make sure that we do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Go subscribe if you haven't already. I honestly thought this team would do it. I honestly did, but we smashed the area division. I will see you guys next time. This team is pretty nutty, but they can't quite cut it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.